Welcome to another physio video. Today let's talk about the regulation of insulin release and insulin action. The pancreas is both an exocrine and endocrine gland. Exocrine because it makes enzymes for the digestion of fats, carbohydrates, and proteins that it secretes into the lumen of the duodenum. Endocrine because it produces glucagon from alpha cells and amylin and insulin from beta cells that all get secreted into the blood. Magnifying a section of the pancreas, we find beta cells in the islets of longer hands. The function of these cells is to produce insulin and amylin. Let's talk about how insulin is released from the beta cells of the pancreas. Glucose levels in the blood are monitored by the beta cells. This happens as glucose enters the beta cells from the blood through GLUT2 transporters. Once inside the cell, glucose is metabolized to produce ATP. The more glucose that has entered the beta cell, the more ATP that is produced. ATP will bind to ATP-sensitive potassium channels in the membrane and close them. This causes depolarization since the potential for potassium to leave has decreased. The level of depolarization will cause a corresponding number of calcium voltage gated channels to open. Calcium enters the beta cell and causes exocytosis of presynthesized vesicles containing insulin and amylin which then enter the blood. It is important to remember that this process is not an all or none response the level of glucose in the blood will result in a corresponding amount of insulin and amylin release from the beta cell. To summarize, glucose enters the beta cells of the pancreas through GLUT2 channels, which brings about the release of insulin, which then enters the blood Insulin then leaves the pancreas and travels throughout the body. It will bind to insulin receptors located on muscle and fat cells. The binding of insulin to its receptor leads to activation of a second messenger system, which ultimately causes translocation of the glucose transporter GLUT4 into the cell membrane. GLUT4 allows glucose to leave the blood to enter the muscle and fat cells, so the glucose can be converted to fat stored as glycogen, or be utilized to make ATP. You can see how insulin lowers blood levels of glucose since it allows it to enter into the cells. This concludes the video on insulin release and action. Thanks for watching.